one. Um, I really miss doing the Gold City Gazette and I really prefer to do all my posts on my blog, but people are really freaking out and uh, besides Bon Bon wanted to get on the internet, so I thought I'd do a quick video on the fiasco with the Orville Dam. There's a lot of rumors going around. There's a lot of people that are really stressed out and upset over this situation and everybody just needs to step back and kind of chill out a little, take it down a notch. It would help, it would have helped a lot if the officials had been a little more forthcoming with information and not waited until the last minute to have everybody evacuate, but that didn't happen, so we are where we are. Um, also, it's better to get your information from more reliable sources. There's a lot of rumors <clears throat> and a lot of just crazy things being said out there. Um, there's people saying that there was a hole in the dam and that the water's gonna overflow and it's gonna cause all these problems. Oroville is used to a certain amount of flooding anyway. They know what to expect. They know what to look for. Um, the flooding is not the issue. The issue is the erosion at the dam, which they are working on. They need to be a little bit more organized with that. Yeah, but you know, it is what it is. Um, so people just really need to calm down. I saw a post a few minutes ago from some guy who was really ripping into the CFO, CEO of Orville Hospital and placing all the blame on him and saying that they should get all these people out of the hospital. You know, there's a lot more to it than that. Yes, if there's an issue, they will work on it, but you have to find somewhere for these people to go, which can take days during this season. Hospitals are full. It's hard to find somewhere to place them. And then even if you do find somewhere to place them, it could be hundreds of miles away. The insurance company has to approve the transfer, whether it's by ground or air, which can end up costing thousands of dollars. So the insurance companies aren't just gonna up and say, oh yeah, go ahead. It takes a lot of time and a lot of organization. So not to defend a certain person or hospital or any medical facility, but it does take a lot. So don't be too quick to judge these people and start ripping them apart. Um, another post I saw was about some um, exotic animals that were just left and they kind of wanted to attack the owners but I was really glad to see the officials, the, the police and the different people who were involved defending these uh, owners because they were not given much notice at all when they were told to evacuate. The officials were, this was Sunday and it was afternoon and they were basically telling everybody, oh, shut up, stop talking about it on social network. Everything's fine. Everything's going okay. And then all of a sudden within like two hours later, I personally got 12 texts and three emails within like a two hour period saying, get out of town now, get out. It's gonna, we're gonna have problems. So people did not have time to react. They did not have time to really get their affairs in order. They had to rush out of town. So the officials do really need to be more up front with people and letting them know what's going on. They have been a little better. Um, you can look at different news stations and see video. There's also a webcam at the Nature Center in Oroville that shows the backside of the dam so you can see the water levels. And if you haven't found that, there's a link at my Facebook page so you can look there. Um, so just kind of everybody kind of try to take it down a notch and chill out and hopefully everything will get taken care of. 